Seems there is a club for just about everything these days. Well, tonight, King 5's Joe Fryer and photojournalist Jeff Christian introduce us to one club that's reaching great heights. It's hard to identify what binds this group together <laughs> when everyone is seated. Oh, God, I just felt like such a dork. I'd work. <laughs> But ask them the one thing. What's my next question? <laughs> that draws these answers. I'm five ten and a half. I am five foot eleven, five eleven. And it becomes pretty clear. I'm only six, six feet. Where they stand. And I'm just a shade over six two. I'm six four. <laughs> Meet the Seattle Tip Toppers. We're tall. A social club for people who like the Space Needle. So sometimes we have twenty five. Tend to hover over their neighbors. I love being tall. <laughs> the only thing here that's low is the yearly membership fee. Lifetime members is. $10. My license plate is tall one. But the bar to get in All right. is rather high. Uh, this is the uh, official measuring stick for the Seattle Tip Toppers. Women must measure at least 5 foot 10. Perfect for dancing. And men 6 foot 2. Uh, I got it covered. At 6 6, club president Jerry Phillips has hiked to spare. Seeing all these people again. But not treasurer Ken Johnson, and, um, the shortest tall guy. guy. No, I used to be the standard of measure that go say, go stand next to Ken. If you're taller than him, you can get in the club. The first the first tall club was formed in California nearly 75 years ago by Kay Sumner Einfeld, who at 6'2 was frustrated with a life of little leg room. It's been very awkward my whole life. Other tall people could relate to the short beds, the odd fitting clothes, and the awkward moments. I can remember trick or treating and having senior citizens ask me, Aren't you a little bit tall to trick or treat? It can be especially tough for women. I was having challenging time finding tall men to date. But through Tall Club, Sharon met Jay. And I joined because she asked me to. So. <laughs> They've now been married 28 years, and they're not the only couple seeing eye to eye. And when you can dance with a man that's 6'6 six, six or 6'7, six, it's the first time in many women's life that they feel like they're feminine. And and they feel like girls. Put um, another way. I won't lie. I think tall men are extremely attractive. <laughs> oh no, my cheeks are getting red. 1760. <laughs> Debbie Almstead will be glad to know there's plenty of tall men to go around. I'm six two. Uh, six three. I'm uh, six foot nine. Seattle even played host to a tall convention. The only thing we have in common is our height. Love you too. Featuring members from 40 clubs across the continent. This is my extended family. This is where I get to feel normal. Hey. Or shorter than normal. Now, one might expect them to play volleyball. We're going to move the ground up higher. But how about a beauty pageant? I am Miss Tall International 2011. Talisha Tolliver beat out some fierce competition five from Miss Tall Chicago. I'm 5'11. And Miss Tall Seattle. I'm 6'1 and a half. To be crowned so Miss me. Tall. No. International. I am a proud tall person. Making her a spokeswoman for their high society. Yes, I actually have a shirt that says, I know I'm tall, 6'2. No, I don't play basketball. So, to answer your next question, no, I don't play basketball. Her platform is to spread tall pride, especially to young girls. They start doing this thing right here and they try to act like they're short. No, I tell them, stand up, hold your head up, keep your back straight. Be proud. Game time. High fives all the way around. After all, life is short. Or tall fives. Even if they are not. Good, good matches. Good, Joe Fryer, good, King good. 5 News. Stand straight. The Seattle tip toppers say they're always looking for new members, especially younger members. I don't think either one of us are qualifying for the club. I'm definitely not qualified. Me neither. Sit up straight.